Stay, stay back in, stay back. It's got the cleanest water, but it'll do. One, two, three, fuck it. Same thing with a bit of squid. because I'm gonna have to keep refilling it. That's why I don't want to use water. Oh, it's So now, I'm gonna just put on the squid. A squid time. Just a little bit of squid. A little bit. Okay, let's see what we've got. Here. So where's my, my knife? My scissors. Got some unwashed squid. On this one, it's just got the small hooks on it and I'm gonna use a little bit of the squid but on the other one I'm gonna use a whole squid mm. see if we can get a big fish only time will tell only time will tell Mr cameraman are you catching me yeah of course you sure Mr cameraman yes how much are you charging me for today hmm I mean I mean just a fiver's call fiver yeah. It's a bargain, okay. I ain't complaining. Better not. Better not, or you might raise the price, innit? Yep. Or you'll do that to your uncle. Amazing. Money's money. I'm gonna break this off so it's not hanging so much. Alright. My little wash again. Not so good. I just got to put a weight on it. Washing I'm just going to put a weight on it and then I'm going to throw it out. Alright. Right now it's quarter past three. I can't remember the exact time high tide is but it's three something. So the water's soon going to start moving back again. I just need a weight. Where I put my weights? 
Wait, wait. I think it's inside the rig box. Yep. Get this weight. If I take this back to edit and I see that you had it in selfie mode and was recording your face the whole time. I can see I'm coming, I'm coming I'm record, looking. I'm recording you. I'm recording you. You're saying, man. I can see you. Um, by the way, how do I zoom in on this camera? No, you can't zoom in. Oh, that's it's a fixed lens. Alright, cool. Look here, he's killing him. Blood. Bad person. Woo! Down rig, but I'm not clipping it down. I'm just gonna um, leave it flapping, so it's kind of like a flapper rig right now. And it's quite windy, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it out properly. But let's try. Whatever don't, you say. Don't be so close out that rig, yeah. So this is my other rod setup. A whole squid. It's a two-hook flapper. A whole squid on this one. And squid with blow log on the other hook. I'm gonna throw these out. Nah. The other rod's there, not been knocking, it's been out for about five, ten minutes. Let's get this one out. Hopefully we get some luck. If you're ever in the market for seaweed, come all hallows. You will get seaweed, trust me. My nephew's just helping me take up this take off the seaweed right now. Look how much is there. Loads of it. Thick as well. I actually thought I might have had a fish because it was jumping so much, but it was just the seaweed. No one else fishing. Alright, cool, so I've got both my words out and pure weeds, that's it. Weeds, weeds, weeds. Yeah. What's so annoying about weeds locations here yeah, where there's loads of weeds is one, there's the annoyance of it takes so long to pull off. Every time you reel it in, you gotta pull it off, yeah. Where today to be honest though, sometimes you get that weed that's so hard to come off, this one's been coming off smooth like butter if I'm being honest, which is lucky. But it is a lot of weeds and it's on every cast. Um, but the other thing about weeds is that you keep thinking you've got a bite. You keep thinking you've got a bite. You look at it, you'll be like, nah, something's on that. And then you're like, oh yeah, weeds. So I'm gonna just keep trying to throw it out there. See, like right now I can see it knocking and it looks like I've got something, but I know it's just weeds, so I'm just ignoring it. My hook that's got just worms in it. I was putting on worm with squid before, but every time I throw it out there, I think crabs or something are taking a bait. Every time I bring it back in, the worms are gone. So I'm not doing worm with a bit of squid because it takes a bit more time. I'm just bringing it in and just changing over the worms. And every time I'm actually throwing the worms out, I'm only leaving them out there for about five, 10 minutes. And every time I bring it in, it's just, um, it's just, yeah, no worms on it. And I'm having to pull off a whole load of weeds. So I was gonna fish till about seven today. It's about 4 p.m. But I might stop at like six, which would be about, I guess about two and a half hours fishing. I normally do longer, but the way this, this weed is ridiculous, man. Have a look, it's just everywhere.
But yeah, I was with my brother and his kids and um, my other brother's kid who's not here right now. He's, um, he's in London or whatever, but yeah, they've all gone to do some activity thing. I think they're jumping off some high platform into some big bean bag or something like that. We're at All Hallows Haven Holiday Park. Um, been there since yesterday. I'm gonna stay here um, again tonight and tomorrow I'm gonna fish the Medway is what I heard people refer to it as the Medway when I was at the tackle shop. I said anywhere along the Medway is better than here. As long as it ain't got weeds, I'll be happy. And if I catch something, I'll really be happy. But yeah, I keep... No, it's my... Look at this. I just had to grab my rod because it's moving, it's moving along so much. But I'm telling you, it's weeds. I'm gonna bring it in, but I'm not even gonna bother show us at the end of it, because I know it's weeds. If it is a fish, I'll show, but I know it's not. I'm gonna put the camera down and just wind it in. All right, I've walked further along, yeah? I was back down there, just before where that white building is. And I've walked further along to see if maybe at this bit here, there's less weeds but there's still loads of weeds. It's going all the way along. It's literally going all the way along. So even if I set up here, I'm going to be under the same conditions. Maybe if you go way further out, there's no weeds, I don't know. I'm not going to bother pack up my car and bring all my stuff here just to keep getting the weeds, but it is unfishable here. It's quarter to five. I'm fishing till six to eight. It's just not making sense. Every time I bring it in, the worms are gone and I've got to re-bait it even if it's only that five minutes and I'm catching so much weeds like I'm just it's just tons of it but either way I'm out with my family today my brother my nieces my nephew so not too fast about catching a fish actually you know what let's be honest here yeah. when you go fishing with someone after they know you've been getting fishing and rare 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 yeah I catch fish uh, It's a bit embarrassing, I can't lie. I'm supposed to be the fisherman. Now I'm right, right now I'm looking like the joke. But um, you know, if I don't catch nothing by an hour, hour, 15 minutes, I'm gonna start packing up. Dear Mr. All Hallows, I'm writing this letter sincerely from the heart to let you know I've got a problem with you. You embarrassed me in front of my family. So bad, my family don't want to even want to talk to no one. They don't want to make no jokes with me. They think I'm a clown. They think the fisherman is just a joke, man. You made my hands stink of seaweed. You made my arms stink of blowworm because the worm kept blowing in the wind on the rig and hitting my arm. Gotta go and shower again. I just wanna let you know, there's no love between us. There's no friendship. And I will not be coming here again. I'm going to stay far away from you and you stay far away from me. All right? Cool. See you later.